Hey guys, um, it's my turn to do the devotion again. So this week I wanted to talk a little bit about community. And the text that I'm using is 1 Peter 4, 8-11. It reads like this. Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. So this last week, this last Sunday, I had the opportunity to preach the non-denominational Protestant service at the Alexian Village on Signal Mountain. This is something that I did fairly frequently when I lived up there. Um, this is something that each church that's up there takes a month of the year to preach uh, their service in the afternoon and then fills in for each other. Um, it's not something I've done since I moved down here, but one of the pastors up there who is also in the United Methodist Church uh, was taking some time off and called and asked if I could cover one of his Sundays. And so I did. And as I was preparing for that and thinking about it, I just I started to realize um, the importance of, of community. Now, we have um, learned a lot about what it means to be in community in, in different ways in the last several months. But this Sunday struck me as differently because it wasn't just uh, kind of scrambling to figure stuff out. It, it was truly supporting each other and loving one another and, and just living life together. Um, get, moving into that space, they're taking precautions as they should be, um, but seeing people that I haven't seen in several years and, and having the opportunity to just uh, share with them my life now and, and what's happening with Burks and um, hearing the stories of how they're handling uh, these things and, and it was just really uh, an exciting moment. Um, but there were only two people in the room and I was broadcast to the entire community and I, I was wondering how many people I was impacting and we look at the text and it says you know if anyone speaks they should speak uh, do so as one who speaks the very words of God and, and I was just prayerful that I, d I know I know quite a few people there still, um, but most of them I've never met. Most of the people who live there are, n are not people that I ministered to in the past or, or are not people that I had the opportunity to meet doing various community events there. And so uh, you know, this might be the first and only time they hear from me, and I, I pray that I would represent the community of the United Methodist Church well. You know, there's so much division right now. Uh, there are so many things that we can argue about, so many things that we can stress about, and, and some of those arguments are important, but I think there's nothing more important than recognizing God uh, as creator, God that created even the people we disagree with, and how to see God's presence in them. I love it. It says, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. Love each other deeply, because it can cover over the things that we mess up as people, and that's that's a reality. That's something that that we we do as people. You know, we're not perfect. And then each of you should use whatever gift you've received to serve others, recognizing that that God's grace uh, is not you, not one thing. It's 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 unique for each person, um, and we can recognize the gifts that God has given us. And it's not okay to say, well, you know, this person has this tradition, and so we need to keep doing that. The, the service at Alexian, it has um, one month it'll be the Presbyterians, and one month it's the Church of Christ, and they don't they don't use instruments, and the service is still beautiful, just voices without the piano and and hearing a, a word from a different tradition. And, uh, yeah, we can have conversations about why those things are different and who does what and, and why and, and talk about what's right and wrong, but if we just love each other and use our gifts for God's good and to pray that when we use those things that um, God will, will speak through us 
and, and if we serve using those gifts, that, that God will give us the strength to meet people's needs. Community is important. Uh, even with all of our differences, not just standing in a silo, not just sectioning ourselves off from the people who are different from us or who would disagree with us, but to truly try to live together, to have dialogue, to talk about what it is that makes us different and not just talk to people to tell them why they're wrong. It's, it's an interesting thing, but you know, this week being in community, in connection in the United Methodist Church, helping each other out, by serving uh, in a different way than I normally do, um, but also the connection of just people. The people that do the services for Alexia and the people who live there, um, it was just an amazing thing to see. And so I, I wanted to just reflect on that and to share, share those words with you t this week. And I, I pray that um, as you go about your week, you'll remember those things. Love each other, offer hospitality, use your gifts. And if you do that prayerfully, God will speak through you. God will speak to you. And God will use you to, to grow community. And it's just so important. So I wanted to share that with you this week. And I, I pray that you'll carry that with you.